Welcome friends from across the globe. Today at GCK Daily, we're looking at the immediate help that God offers to us. If you're in sorrow and suffering or in a predicament, even of your own making and you feel stuck, there's real hope and help just for you. God can offer immediate help to you right now. So then how do we access this help? Let's listen as we learn some valuable truths from Dr. Kumi about healing, help, and wisdom. Look at the first part of uh, Exodus chapter 34 and in verse 10. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all the people, a covenant of mercy before all the people, a covenant of the inexhaustible marvels of God before all the people. He says, all thy people, I will do marvels tonight. I will do marvels for you. I will do marvels here. He will do marvels in all over the country, everywhere. As we listen to the word, accept the word, apply the word to our lives, it will do marvels in every life in Jesus' name. And it says, such as have not been done in all the earth and in any nation. What you have never heard of, what you have never seen, what you have never experienced in your personal life, or even in your nation, or in any nation, it says what had never been told in all the earth and in any nation, it said it will accomplish in our lives today. The worst of lives, it will change tonight. The most violent of individuals, it will turn their lives around tonight. And the one who have felt, they have seen so much, and they have seen, they have almost gone beyond the day of grace. The day of grace comes upon you tonight, and that marvel of salvation, that marvel of transformation you have never experienced in all the earth, in any nation, you are going to experience tonight in Jesus' name. Salvation has come. Healing has come. Deliverance has come. The door is open. Look at Matthew chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 2. In Matthew chapter 9, reading from verse 2, it says, And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, Actually, what had happened is when they came in, they couldn't find a way to get the man to Jesus. And then they thought, what are we going to do? Are we going to go back home like we came? Are you going to go back home like you came? They felt something must happen. We must get this man in front of Jesus. And the Mark account tells us they went to the roof and then they opened up the roof and they brought the man through that open channel to the very presence of Christ. And tonight, as we have opened the scriptures to you and the open door is now before you, all you need now is to come through that open door as that man came through that open space and he came to the very presence of Christ. And as you come to the presence of Christ tonight, you'll find it's your savior. You'll find it's your healer. You'll find it's your deliverer. As we've listened, we've discovered a few key points from this message. The first is that regeneration happens immediately. You know, when someone experiences regeneration, they are immediately given a new nature with new desires. Salvation transforms in the blink of an eye. They are saved from the brink of destruction. It's actually like accidentally walking out in front of a vehicle and then someone grabs your arm and pulls you to safety. Then you're saved immediately. You know, we all stand on the road marked destruction oblivious to the plight that awaits us. But Jesus, he reaches out 
and saves us from death and destruction. The second thing we've learned so far is that God wants ultimate good for you. He doesn't only look at your small problems and take care of your small needs. He wants to completely transform your life. He wants to give you full salvation, healing, and help in your suffering. The third thing we've learned is that Jesus has compassion on you. Jesus sees your condition. He knows your sorrow, and He's moved with compassion to respond to you. He knows the deepest level of pain and suffering you're going through. He understands it. But not only that, He has the power and authority to respond to it. He reaches out His strong hands and says, I will, be thou clean, be saved, be healed, be restored. And it happens. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. He brought him, this man, sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And then Jesus, seeing their face, said, On the sick of the palsy, son, be of good cheer, thy sin be forgiven thee. That's the first thing they will do tonight. I'm looking at you, look at me here. Where are you? It will forgive your sin. The chain of your sin, it will break. That bad habit, you can't stop by yourself. You come into the presence of Christ tonight. It will change your life. It will cleanse your life. It will blot out your transgression. It will forgive all your sins in Jesus' name. He said, son, be of good cheer. It's something to be happy about when your sins are forgiven. It's something to be happy about when your punishment is canceled. It's something to be happy about when your name is written in the book of life in heaven. Be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. After that forgiveness, don't go yet. Something else is coming. Look at verse 6. It tells us in verse 6, But they that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth, to forgive sins. Then said he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. They carried him there, but Jesus said, You don't need to be carried anymore. Rise up. And the man did not say, But you see, I'm weak. You see, I can do nothing. He said, Rise up. When Christ speaks to you and he says, Rise up, power will follow that word, Rise up. And you will rise up. Broken bones will be mended. All the lameness will go away. And the paralysis and the, and the stroke, everything will vanish away at a moment of time when he says, Rise up. You rise up in Jesus' name. When he says, look and see, your blind eyes will see. And when he says, breathe in and breathe out, all the lungs that were clogged before, everything will open in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, healing, miracle will come upon your life in Jesus' name. Now, I know there are some of you that are suffering in all kinds of ways, grappling with the problem of evil lurking in your heart. Some of you may be suffering from sickness or addictions and need healing and restoration. Jesus compassionately offers help, immediate help, full help. Now, Pastor Kumi now comes to lead us in prayer for salvation and healing. Accept the Lord's offer right now be given a new life and authority that God has for you. Father, we thank you for all these who have come unto you for salvation, for forgiveness, for the blotting out of all the bad things they've done in the past until now. Lord, wash them as white as snow, in Jesus' name. 
take the guilt of sin away the punishment of sin away the pain of their evil life take everything away from their lives in jesus name let the peace that comes with salvation come into their hearts now and the joy of salvation in every heart every life now in jesus name and i pray lord the grace to live like christ wants them to live your grant to everyone right now thank you lord thank you lord thank you savior your salvation has come in jesus name we pray amen my name is Ifan Chukugu I thank God for my life it was a very bad situation he fell sick we carried him from one place to the other before the thing started I don't know where I am. I don't know where to start. Even to come out and eat myself, they were holler to me. Even the time where they carry me go to hospital, I don't even know. The team even touched my head to make me run mad. Even anything, the thing that I'm speaking that time, they come, they tell me, say, I'm speaking like a madman, the time where I'm recovering myself, I can't wonder, me, take you talking all this. But now, I am okay. And now, I thank God for my life, for giving me another chance for me to live. Praise God for my life. Just about to go for MRO scan, we heard about the Global Divine Touch Crusade, and then we connected. By special grace of God, miraculous thing happened. And look at my elder brother. I see so I see a lot of difference. Things that he cannot do before. I saw I saw him doing it. Even uh, he was on the on the on the oxygen before. They removed the oxygen immediately. I want to thank God for this global crusade, divine touch. And I thank God for Pastor Kumui. May God bless him more and bless everybody. We're connecting you with heaven now. And when you hear the final amen, that miracle would have been there. Father, we come before you. You are the God that cannot fail. You've told us already that the promise is unto us. The power is for us. The miracle explosion is for us. And... The healing, the deliverance, everything heaven has to offer is for us. There's no exception tonight. Send forth your power. Heal your people in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, whatever the oppression, whatever the attack, cancel it now in Jesus' name. Brain problem, madness, insanity, psychological problem, be removed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Blindness, the Lord is touching your eyes right now. Those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deaf and dumb, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Swelling in the tummy, swelling at the back, swelling of goiter on the neck, swelling in the feet, elephantiasis. Be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Incurable disease, so called cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, kidney problem, respiratory problem. 
long-standing problem be healed in Jesus' name. Pain at the back, in the head, in the spine, anywhere in the body, be healed in Jesus' name. Curse, yoke, affliction, enemies' affliction, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, everywhere, to the right, to the left, in front of me, anywhere you hear the sound of my voice, receive your miracle now in Jesus' name. Online, in every country, at the message, the ministration, the prayer, getting to you now, you are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, let there be confirmation everywhere. Performance everywhere. Miracle explosion everywhere. And the things impossible for man, possible for God, do it now, Lord. Confirm your miracle everywhere. In Jesus' name I pray. It has happened. As you check yourself, you'll find your miracle is there right now. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker If you need freedom or savior He's a prison shaking savior He's got chains He's a chain breaker We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, amen. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. Go ahead, get your hands up. Let's go. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify, testify. If you've just given your life to Christ or would like to receive help in your walk with God, please visit us at dclm.org forward slash connect. We want to hear from you and encourage you along this journey of faith. Also, please connect with us via our social media channels to share testimonies and receive updates and helpful resources from us. And when you share this video with your friends, it really helps us spread the word of this helpful and life-changing message. Well, we have to go now, but we trust that you've been immensely blessed. Please return tomorrow for another episode of the Global Crusades with Kumi, GCK Daily, and join us at our upcoming Global Crusades
And don't come alone. Invite your friends, family, and loved ones. Thank you.